Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time you're watching this. It could be any of those. Hope you guys are having a great week and enjoyed your spring break, assuming you're watching this after spring break. I am back with another instructional video for you guys, and I've got a fun tip. If your parents are giving you a hard time because you're watching too much television, just put it on mute and turn on the closed captioning, and boom, now you're reading. So we're going to work on a couple lines in our book. And then we'll touch on some of your band music as well. I'm going to start with our mouthpieces and buzzing, as we always do. Let's buzz line 44 in our books. If you have them out, great. If not, you can pause it and get them. Here we go. Line 44. One, two, ready. <laughs> we've done before. So this rhythm should look pretty simple and easy for you all to read. I'll give you a second to look at it. And we're going to clap it together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, and four. Okay, hopefully you're making the eighth notes even and not going three or anything other than that. So now we're going to play our contra B flat scale using this rhythm. Each note is gonna get a whole beat. So we're gonna play one, 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 second note, two, 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 third note, two, and so on and so forth. Let's try it out. On B flat scale, every note gets that whole rhythm. One, two, ready. We're going to go into our book. We're going to play through those two lines we just worked on. Let's play line 44. Already? One, two, batting. If you haven't already submitted a recording of you playing that line, please make sure you do it this week. And we're going to also look at line 49, playing through line 49. One, two, ready. <laughs> And we should remember in the end of this line, we have the new note. It's an F sharp for trumpet, an E natural in second position for the trombones. French horns, you'd be playing a C sharp. So let's go ahead and start from the fifth measure where we left off. 
and see if we can play to the end. One, two, 49, measure five. We're gonna keep working our way through that section and that line for next week as well. Now we're gonna shift into your band music. Trumpets, we're gonna play Big Eat Boogie from measure one. And we're going to repeat it. So one through twelve, two times. One, two, ready. Hmm. Alrighty there, AJ and trombones. We're going to go over a big beat boogie, and um, we're going to do the first twelve measures, and we're going to repeat it twice. Now you'll notice that there are some lines and dots on some of these notes. For our purposes today, we're gonna to call those long and short. The lines mean to make the notes long, and the dots mean to make the notes short. The actual words for lines are called tenuto, and the dots are called staccato, but we don't expect you to know that just yet. So here we go from the beginning. Long, long, short. Long, 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 short. You play long. Two, ready. <laughs> So keep working on those sections, guys. If you made it to the end of the video, you get a sneak preview and a glimpse at my little one. This is Benjamin. He is almost one years old. He's a very smiley boy, and he likes to be tickled, as most people do. He's going to say bye-bye with me, right? Say bye-bye, Benji. Good job.